Welcome back to another colorful Styling Saturdays. And today's version is called, it's a wrap. As you can see, it is a wrap. And it is a simple braid that is literally just follows the base of your perimeter hairline and is tucked over or underneath your ear, depending on how much length of hair you actually have. And today's upstyle was actually inspired by an upcoming flare fashion photo shoot, and it's on the trend of the pastel hair. So we added a little bit more color to today's yellow tresses, thanks to Mr. Kevin Murphy's color bug. So it's a disc with chalk, and it's temporary. You can literally just throw on a little bit of something that's a little bit damp or a little bit wet like a hairspray, your shimmer shine which we're all very excited about but remember only twirl the bottle that is not yourself go crazy with the twirling so what we're going to do is we're going to separate your front frame pieces so that would be just in front of your ear and the rest of the hair you want to use your paddle brush and brush everything very, 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 very extremely low um, to right underneath the nape, at the nape of the hair, but underneath your ear. So very 80s, we're bringing it back, as well as the color as you can see. There's a bit of a trend going on here, people. Be careful with the trends. We're getting a little wild. So you're gonna do this guy, and you can either put it into a rope braid, like so, or if you're savvy enough to do your regular braid, which I'm guessing that while you're here, you probably can do. So the trick here is to make sure the braid goes as long as humanly possible because you're actually going to need all of the rope of your braid to give you the illusion that your hair is actually beginning here, starting from there. We love the illusions of these up styles. you got to keep them guessing, folks. Keep them coming. So the other alternative to have this guy looking a little bit more organically is you could pull this guy down a bit and really open up that braid. We've done it before in some of the other ones and it makes it look really organic, but guess what? By the end of the day, it's gonna look lived in. So you're gonna want to have your hair tucked like so and have this little tail just over the arch of your ear. So you're going to want to press that braid as close to your, your perimeter there. Take a couple of bobby pins, take a little bit of your base and a little bit of your braided section and do a little bit of a hooking fashion so that that stays nice and secure. And then around the ear, just be careful not to stab yourself because this is easier to do meaning the stabbing bit than you think. So you pull that right over there so it actually looks like it's beginning there. And you take a little bit of that bobby pin and you, you slice it right really close in there. Feels pretty good, it's not going anywhere. And then you take your remainder of your front frame and you either leave it out or you just twirl this bad boy and you tuck it neatly into your braid so it looks all in one and another little bobby pin just to secure both of those pieces together. Make sure everything feels like it's in place. You might have to go over a couple of spots just to make sure it's all in place. With the active weather that we've been having, you'll need some Wizard of Oz foundation so you don't fall away. And so this actually looks pretty nice but if you want to make it a little bit more secure, you can take another one of your French pins and throw it right back and tuck it right under, should suffice. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, it's a wrap. 